Um, hello, my name is Jay Gao. Um, I am here in the wonderful Lighthouse Bookshop Garden, which in Edinburgh, which is um, just, it's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to be speaking to you subscribers. Um, I'll be reading from my debut book, Imperium, coming out from Carcanet Press in, in maybe a week. I, I can't quite remember because the book is already out there and you may already have copies yourself. Um, it's a book that is inspired in, in part by Homer's Odyssey. It's a book that's trying to explore what it means to travel, to get lost, to sort of find yourself and others um, through various times. And I'll be reading um, an early poem called Hostess which is about a mosquito. Hostess, flying home west, I hitch my pity onto the mosquito trapped under the cling film of this exotic dragon fruit salad. On its last long leg, we shared one vessel. Its authority to inflict human suffering unsettled me as I carefully ate around the heritages housing its stuck body. I had read an article that said our kinship with them can be most compellingly imagined through the metaphor of war. You have killed nearly half of all the humans who have ever lived. There is little of history left over you have not yet touched. And so, the article explained, even expat mosquitoes will one day clandestinely evolve some resistance to their poison, artemisinin, with each new generation, unless we modify the fertility genes in the females, eradicate in an entire genus the vector for disease. Genius and victory. I have just watched the final scene from In the Mood for Love again on this plane. I cried again. I fled a similar unpicked itch. Those strangler figs in Anchor Watt cosset Estonia intimacy better left tongue-tied in the flesh. I wanted to be back on that buried path towards enlightenment. Try again the inauthentic itinerary for touring a mountain home for the gods. Pavilion Indochine Hotel, tick. Your prophylactic regimen, tick. Rain as warm as blood, tick. And my hired driver for the day, not much older than me, chain-smoked American cigarettes, texted his boyfriend, blared Kamar Pop, from his tuk-tuk, camouflaged in Coca-Cola logos. Later, left alone in a Lucky Burger, probing the meaty dregs of a mango smoothie with a straw, I felt like such a nobody. And how I loved that bad air. How did it feel to have just conquered a world wonder, plundered it with the lens of a dirty phone assembled in Shenzhen, China? Even the foreign ear of a guest, cupped against a wall, can rob stone of all its kissing music. The photographs of statues I kept near to my wallet, like a deck of lethal military technologies. Headless men filled to their necks with stagnant water. Yet the mosquito and I, we both consented to lengthen our link a little longer inside our cabin ecosystem, perfectly calibrated so that host rules reign supreme, homesickness infects us both. Nostalgic, I smuggle the mosquito in an old scar behind my right ear and listen from its blurry world below for the wet coral buzzing of lava who curve their sleep beyond muddy colonies. Might they dream of more classic things, 
of past lives lived out in a touched and looted and ruined state. Thank you so much for listening.